Outgoing German Chancellor Angela Merkel met with Pope Francis and Prime Minister Mario Draghi today as part of her farewell visit to Italy. Draghi, the former head of the European Central Bank, paid tribute to Merkel's calm, determined leadership through times of difficulty. Her meeting with the Pope centered on the issues of migration, climate change and COVID-19. But she also took the opportunity to talk about the recent cases of clerical sex abuse and the role the church must play in addressing it. We believe that the truth must come out and that more work needs to be done on the matter of child sex abuse. This is obviously something in which the Holy See has a crucial role to play if it is to rebuild Christian trust in the Catholic Church all over the world. From Rome, Georgia Orlandi has more on Merkel's visit. Merkel's visit to Italy is part of a farewell tour as she reaches the end of her final year as Chancellor. This morning she met with Pope Francis. The tour is said to be closed and the two agree on a number of issues. She's the head of state that has visited the most Pope Francis during his pontificate. The two discussed challenges faced both by Europe and the world such as the climate crisis and she has highlighted the importance of the church's contribution to the fight against Against climate change and the two also touched on the issue of sexual abuse inside the Catholic Church. Later she met with Italy's Prime Minister Mario Draghi. This was the last bilateral between the two and Mario Draghi who's been widely described as Angela Merkel's successor uh, taking the role of Europe's new leader praised Merkel for the role she has played in the past 16 years in shaping the future of Europe. But Angela Merkel is also here in Rome to attend this year's prayer uh, for peace, uh, uh, an event that is also been attended by Pope Francis. As many as 500 religious leaders have gathered here in Rome for the two-day conference on world peace. Giorgio Orlandi, Euronews in Rome.